Thermal evaporation we use basically for the deposition of different electrodes like top electrodes, bottom electrodes. So we can deposit different metals on top electrode and bottom electrode like gold, like silver, like aluminium and also copper. So this is all about the thermal evaporation. So first we need to put our bottom electrode. Uh, that is made up of any material, maybe copper, maybe aluminium. Then after that metal, uh, we deposit our insulating layer on it. Uh, that's also kind of any insulator, maybe uh, honey thin film. If, uh, if I talk about bioorganic, uh, organic materials or inorganic materials. Then for the most of the times, uh, actually, uh, we use thermal evaporation for the, our top electrodes. Uh, so the for the top electrodes, uh, we use uh, thermal evaporation. In this process, actually, uh, our task is uh, to achieve a thick layer of metal on the top of the electrode, uh, on the top of the uh, thin film, actually. So after deposition of uh, metal electrodes, we will go for different types of uh, testing, actually. It's a kind of uh, electrical uh, IV measurements or CV measurements. So basically there are two methods to deposit the electrodes. One is sputtering, that is a new technique nowadays and the other one is thermal evaporation. So thermal evaporation is nowadays an old method but still is used in labs So uh, for the research work. So uh, this is all about uh, thermal evaporation. In order to deposit these electrodes, uh, so we have different, you know, parameters or uh, criteria. I prepared one of the mask. Uh, I prepared the mask from the Kepton tape. So basically, the purpose of Kepton tape is uh, heat variable. So if we apply in the in thermal evaporator. The temperature rises till maybe 700, 800. So uh, this tape, this Kepton tape, uh, will bear this temperature. So that's why I use Kepton tape uh, as a mask. So uh, the mask is basically consisting of uh, few crossbars. of uh, that mask is because uh, for my experiment for memory applications or for other organic or bio, bio organic materials uh, we need a device uh, in which like we have some part that is uh, consistent of metal and some is like we don't need metal there so for the experimental for the electrical measurements it will be easy for us to measure if one part is uh, metal and the other part is without metal. So uh, this is the procedure for the thermal evaporation. So this is our desired sample to whom which will we will first we will put the mask on it. So now as you can see we are putting the mask on it. Now we will stick this one with the help of tape on the source holder. So now we are 
getting prepared for the uh, sample we will put so first we need to put our particles uh, like we are working on silver particles so here we will put the silver particles for the thermal evaporation so here we are putting the silver particles uh, that will evaporate at the end and uh, will stick on the surface of our sample uh, as a metal uh, deposition Uh, this is now we are setting uh, the position of our plate so we as you can see it's now on the point where it should be this is the source holder we are putting now on the machine so you can see uh, this sample is on the source holder so this is our sample which is already on the source holder so now we are putting the bell jar on the operator and make sure it will stick on the surface of the uh, evaporator So first we will press the cycle button and we will start the pump now. So we need to rough our chamber so we will check by moving to the LT and then see the current so you can see on the screen there is a little current so it's okay our pump is roughing now so you can see on the screen it's roughing now so after roughing we will again go for the cycling and uh, as i press the cycling button now so now the system will take some time for the thermal evaporation so we will wait for almost uh, uh, 40 to 45 minutes so during this time the pump will go up and down for the for maybe more than three or four times So these are the guidelines for the operation of this machine. Uh, now, uh, as we are done with the pumping, we move the knob to the LT side 
and now we will gradually increase our current starting from 1 2 uh, till 7 7 is the maximum current so we are gradually increasing our current so you can see here the phenomena so this phenomena is 2 minutes or 3 minutes we are gradually gradually increasing our current now you can see on the screen how its uh, evaporation is done so after 2 minutes we will gradually decrease the current and at the end we moved our knob from LT to 0 and uh, also it is displaying fine pumping So now we will go for the ventilation and wait for maybe more than 5 to uh, 5 minutes. So these are the knobs for the air removal. So now we will remove our bell jar because now the system is like cool down. Uh, now it's the time to remove uh, our source holder from the evaporator. As you can see the whole silver is deposited on the sample. At the end we will remove the tape and we will see our sample. So this is our sample. You can see from the therm thermal deposition, 